Hi, Mike. What's up? As you may have heard, Nostalrius, the fan server you shut down, has a petition calling for legacy servers for World of Warcraft. I've got it right here. Over 230,000 signatures and thousands of comments, nearly 10,000 pages in all. I've printed it all out because I thought it might be more tangible this way to see in physical form. I also have here a list of top Twitch streamers who have pledged their support to legacy servers and promise to start streaming WoW again if they return. They have a combined total audience of 14 million viewers. They want legacy servers back, and they are ready to share that with the gaming world. It would instantly put Legacy WoW as the top stream on Twitch. That's a lot of support, Mike, and it says something about what players want. These are the thoughts and wishes of nearly a quarter million people. To put that in perspective, that's five times the number of people who attend E3, and nearly four times as many who go to PAX. That's a lot of gamers, and they all want one thing, to see vanilla and progression servers for WoW. I think it might be a good idea. I believe it could also be a big boost to the current game. By now, every gamer who has ever wanted to try WoW has already done so. WoW is simply so big that there are no huge swaths of untapped gamers to attract to the franchise. But there are veterans, millions of them, and they miss their home and their community. If you provide a home for these veterans again, they will come back, and they will likely play both the new content and the legacy content. If a fan server like Nostarius can grow for over a year, attracting nearly a million fans, Think how many would come back to WoW if Blizzard launched official legacy servers. Your last reported numbers were around 5 million accounts, and by all estimates, the current number is much lower now. Why not add another 1 or 2 million subscribers? But beyond that, WoW is also an important game. It's part of gaming history, but there is no legal way for people to enjoy its earlier versions or to see where it all came from. Unlike the old days, they can't just boot up a floppy disk or slip in a CD-ROM. The original game is gone from the world forever, and legacy servers are the only way to preserve this vital part of gaming culture. I would also like to put in a word for the devs who created Nostarius and launched this whole movement. I've spoken to them, and they are good people. They only put up a legacy server because there was no other way to play. They didn't do it for profit or fame. They did it out of love, for the game. All they want is to enjoy Legacy WoW again, and they would actually prefer it if Blizzard did this officially and would be willing to provide information, tools, and programs to help if needed. There are hundreds of thousands of reasons right here to bring back Legacy servers. In the past, you've changed games for the outcry of one fan. Won't you do this for a quarter million of them? There's a lot more I could share with you about legacy servers, and I hope you will agree to meet with me to at least hear what these fans have to say. You know my number. Give me a call. Thanks for listening, Mike.